On this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using Le Chatelier's principle to predict the result of changing temperature. In this problem, you'll be given a chemical reaction and told that the reaction is in equilibrium, and then you're going to be given two situations involving changing temperature for this particular system. Alex is calling these perturbations. You are then going to predict how the change in temperature is going to cause the position of equilibrium to shift. And once you've made that prediction, then you will be asked a question about the change in composition for a substance. Like in this case, I'm being asked about the change in pressure, but it also could be asking about the change in concentration. So one of the tricky things about this problem is that the changing the temperature of a substance does not give us a predictable direction, position of equilibrium shift. For example, if the temperature is lowered, that doesn't mean that the position of equilibrium will always shift to the right or that it will always shift to the left. It depends on if the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. So before we even jump into this, we need to be thinking about whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. This reaction is exothermic, meaning that it puts out heat and it's really helpful if you think of that um, as heat being a product of the reaction. So if it is exothermic, I really want you to think about this as heat is a product of the reaction. And that's going to make this problem a lot easier. If the reaction was endothermic, then I want you to think about it as heat being a reactant. Because in an endothermic reaction, we have to supply heat. Heat needs to go into the system. If you think about heat being a product and you treat it just the same way you would treat a molecule, that's going to make this problem a lot easier. So when we look at the first perturbation, the temperature is lowered. That means that the heat is decreasing. Whenever we decrease the amount of anything in a chemical reaction, the position of equilibrium shifts in that direction to try to put back whatever we've removed. So if we take away anything from the product's side, the position of equilibrium will shift to the right to try to replace what we removed. So we're going to be shifting to the right. If the position of equilibrium shifts to the right, we are going to increase everything on the right hand side and we are going to decrease everything on the left hand side. It's asking us about the HF. Since the position of equilibrium is shifting to the right, that means we're going to be increasing the amount of HF. What about if the temperature is raised? If the temperature is raised, we want to think about that as if we are adding heat. If we add anything to the right-hand side of the reaction, the position of equilibrium shifts away from whatever we've added. Um, so if the position of equilibrium shifts away, this in this case that means it's shifting from the right to the left, shifting to the left. And if we shift to the left, we're going to be increasing the amount of everything on the left side and decreasing the amount of everything on the right side. It's asking us about H2. Uh, again, we're shifting to the left, which means we're increasing everything on the left-hand side.